Brazile Distillery is a single malt distillery. There is no different from the other distilleries that have been around for a lot longer. What we're doing here is looking at different ways that we can utilise the resources that are presented to us after the production process and be able to raise green energy and reduce the amount of fossil fuel that we use within our distilleries and our maltings. It's really important that we have important local partnerships with the community, especially where we are here in rural Scotland. As future goes forward, we all realise that we're going to have to reduce our mileage and by doing that, we have to work with industries that are around about us. We take the byproduct from them, which is the ash, and then we spread that onto our soils for conditioning and then we grow the crops to sell back to Diageo. We'll take in wet barley or green barley as it's called, where it's come off the fields and we'll dry it and then store it until it's broken dormancy and we can use it in the next year. Or we'll take in dried barley from merchants uh, which will then be taken into our silos and used straight into process. One of the big products that a distillery produces is hot water. By locating ourselves very close to a maltings which has a need for a lot of heat to dry the grain within the process, we can transfer that hot water to the maltings the heat is then taken out of that water, it's returned to the distillery and it can be then used again in the cooling of the vapour within the stills, heating the water back up for then to be transferred again to the maltings. We're setting really tight global water targets to drive our usage down and down and still be able to put out our products at the same time. So using the barley washer that's on top of this steep tank, we save approximately 31% of our water because we only fill this vessel twice rather than three times. That's about 70,000 metres cubed of water or 28 Olympic swimming pools. We have a system where we can hold back any rainfall that falls on this site and it's actually allowed to be discharged into the environment in a controlled manner. As the stormwater you know, flows across the parking lots, it picks up particulate and that's really what the stormwater pond is here to treat. And by implementing the active islands, we just make sure that it's even better. It's really 90% living material, plants and, and biofilms, which is activated and allowed to be able to float on the water surface with this floating ecosystem structure. We want to make sure that all of the water that's going into the ground is as clean as it can possibly be. We want to have a much smaller footprint on the earth for the future and for now, and we really have to invest in such technologies as you're seeing here today.